Welcome to another CCH Pro System FX practice management training video. This video will review the steps required to run year end procedures in practice management. Running year end procedures changes the fiscal year end date for your firm. It creates ending balances for the current year, which become beginning balances for the new year. The year end procedures option is found in administration on the firm menu. This window lists the steps required to run year end procedures. The Help menu can also be useful to prepare you for running this process. Notice the important bullets here. Be sure that all time is entered and posted. Also be sure that you have completed and posted all billings and entered and posted all AR entries. Now something to consider, if you are billing the new fiscal year for prior year accounting, meaning billing December in January for example, do not use dates from both years. Be sure that the invoice date and the posting date are in the same fiscal year when final printing the invoice. Another great practice is to run the data integrity report prior to running your end procedures. This report ensures that your database is in balance and that all files have been updated correctly. To access this report, go back to Administration, Features, Reports. Scroll down the Clients tab and select Data Integrity. Click the Select button, then click Print and Preview to run the report. If the report shows no problems found like we see here, then you are ready to begin. If data does populate this report, reach out to our support team to have them help you get your data back in balance prior to running year-end procedures. Once you have validated that your data is in balance, print all your year-end reports, and then make sure you have a viable backup of your data. That way you are protected in the event something occurs during the year-end procedure, such as a power outage or a server crash. Before beginning, ensure that all employees are logged out of practice management. You may use the View Active Processes option from the Help menu to view all staff members who are logged into practice management. Note that you may send a message to your staff asking that they log out of practice management and even disable their log on so they are not able to log back in when you run the year-end procedures. Once you have confirmed that all staff are logged out of practice management, you are ready to begin. Notice the old current year-end date and the new current year-end date. If these dates are correct, click the OK button and allow the system some time to complete the process. Now, some tips when running year-end procedures, do not stop the process and do not close the window during the process. Ignore any indications that the program is not responding as it may take several moments for the process to begin. Once the process is complete, be sure to run the data integrity report one more time to ensure that your data is still in balance. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.